For a company like BP that operates all over the world, that has information from hundreds of reservoirs, thousands of wells, GIS for us was always there as a component, but I think the big act was to pull one team together to create this source of truth, this fundamental system of record of our assets and infrastructure. And that, for me, gives you the confidence in the data, the confidence in what you're looking at, but also then allows you to move on and really drive insights from that information. When we started the OneMap program, the goal was to address people, process, and technology. And early on, we realized to do the people and process, we had to get the technology in place first. We needed a common platform where we could share that same language, that same data, and those same services across the different upstream functions. One of the decisions we took very early on in the OneMap project was to design a platform rather than a point-to-point -point solution. There were many uses of GIS in upstream and it would be impossible to develop a solution for all of them. Our platform allows us to respond to different requirements as they come in and ensure that we can maintain the geospatial data in a secure way and then share it back to the users as they need it. One of the biggest challenges we have with pipeline integrity management is fully understanding all of our risk, all of our threats associated with our pipeline. And GIS enables us to actually look at multiple data in order to inform our decisions associated with our pipeline. Essentially, we need to understand how an oil spill might affect various resources and then plan for that. Those resources might include environmental ones, ecological ones, social, cultural, a whole range of disparate things in the environment that we might need to take account of. We have built a common operating picture that essentially gives all of the same information to all of the responders in the Instant Command at the same time. One map and using GIS has really revolutionised the way we think and the way we approach and then helping us to better understand some of the impacts we're actually having. We can actually see very clearly where there has been a change in environmental conditions around operations, almost real time, and then of course then investigate what's actually causing that change. The heart of it is one set of data that you can trust. You know it's been signed off by the technical experts, but the real power that GIS allows is the visualisation of it, to allow different functions to share history and insights across geographies, across functions. So our focus was platform first. We needed to get the infrastructure out there. But we've been surprised by, as more data is added to the system, it's really become a user-driven platform because people are able to discover, share, and use the data in ways that we weren't planning in the early design stages. Next projects that we have on our OneMap deployment roadmap are enabling smartphone access to our technology, moving more of our infrastructure onto the cloud so that our users can access their data on any device, anytime, anywhere. In essence, GIS is the cornerstone, providing better information to make better decisions and drive a more effective response. The ability to connect up information and apply it to a new problem, to an existing challenge, is what's really going to differentiate performance in the future. Tools, disciplines, culture around things like GIS and OneMap, I think you're going to play a real key role in that.